Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website codingphase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro. Listen, man. So, yeah, so what we were saying before, for those of you guys that, that missed it, a lot of, most of you guys didn't even get to hear anything. So, yeah. basically, the dreaded death was telling me that he's from Florida. He basically came in. He has about a year in in this field. How long did it take you to become a developer? Um, I would say, like, I, I learned how to code. And I mean that loosely. Like, when I say I learned how to code, I mean that loosely. Mm -hmm. Two months, and I would say by my third month, I had a job already. So, like, I literally applied everywhere on Indeed. Even the jobs that were, like, you need 10 years of experience. Like, mm -hmm. I told you, I applied at, like, 700 jobs in, like, two, three days. And, like, even some of those jobs were calling me back. Like, the ones that, like, yo, you have five years of experience. I was like, nope. But, like, can you interview me anyway so I can, like, write down some notes for the next one? So I was bombing interviews on purpose for the sake of having the experience to go to the next one. You know what I was taking notes the whole time, man. And that helped a lot. Yeah, no, that's something that I tell people all the time. It's like when you when you want a, a, a job, you have to actually go in there and and actually just say, hey, I'm going to apply to every single job that's out there. I'm not going to oh, be yeah. scared. You know, it's like you can't be scared. You cannot be over here like, oh, my God, I, I'm going to be bougie. I'm just going to apply to the big companies. It's like, nah, you apply to everything. Everything, 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 everything. My first job was like a small agency. Like I'm talking about like if you had a map, you couldn't even see them in it. And I mean, obviously they weren't business, right? They weren't anything big. They were in business mm -hmm. for like years before I even applied. So yeah, man. And you know what? I took it, man. Cause you know what? Sure. I could have waited an extra week or so to get like the job I really wanted. But man, I, like I said, I, I didn't have, I was homeless. I needed money ASAP. So I took that motherfucking job and we here, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah man that that's what i was telling people too is like man look my first job i was getting like 13 bucks an hour bro like and that was because yeah. i i went in there i was like yo and it wasn't even like a, no agency it wasn't like no web development it was like straight up a company that needed somebody that know a little bit of html css to <laughs> edit products that's it right but nothing fancy bro nothing, nothing fancy <laughs> but it was just like hey it's the first time Going in there, I'm self-taught. Uh, yeah, I had a little degree from, you know, uh, administrative uh, systems and, and shit like that, but it wasn't programming. It wasn't like computer science. I didn't have no background in it, right? right. So they came in, they they basically took me in, and literally in three months, I said, peace, and, you know, I was out. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, because it's like... Job. You were savage, bro. You know, sometimes you, you, you take these jobs and... and you think it's like you're gonna be there forever it's like nah man you're a developer man you're a rock star out here you know what i mean like people yeah. want you you got the skills yeah people want you you know what like, i mean right now like I, I keep getting recruited from like other places and stuff and like they the job i'm at now they found me through linkedin so like they gave they gave me a chance man so like it's not it's one of those things where i have loyalty to them bro but i have jobs that are like are willing to pay like relocation fees and all this shit. and i was like oh man what do i do they're offering like 10 15 000 more a year like yeah Ridiculous, but you know what? As, as developers, like I don't think I've known any anybody that has been on a job for like two, three years. We usually like bounce around from job to job. And I know that sounds weird, but it's a good thing in our case. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we, we learn more, and the, it's usually you get more money, mm -hmm. which is always good. So yeah, every time that you jump to a new company, uh, you know companies want you because the more that you know, the less that they gotta train you, the less that they gotta exactly. you know be on top of you. They just say, okay. We need an extra hand and that extra hand is here he knows what to do he knows what his job is you give him a task and he can build it when you're yep. a junior developer and you just start at the beginning you can't really ask for too much because you know damn well you need somebody to guide you you need somebody yeah. that's going to be the head of the you know uh, of the development team if you're not yep. at that level you can't go in there like yo everybody give me 120 000. if now ain't working here you can't go in yeah no that. you can't go out there <laughs> showing your balls like that like so quickly they're gonna yeah. tell you walk away and they're gonna hire somebody else cheaper than you too That's exactly there man like you can't do that <laughs> exactly somebody some dude is just like is like man listen it's a blessing to be here so as soon as that dude comes in your job is gone you know what i mean You're gone. Yeah, <laughs> 
And it sucks that it's like that, but it's the truth, bro. That's how the world works. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. And it's crazy. 